Hello everybody, it's me, Betts Golden. Today I wanted to show you a couple different ways you can create some really cool backgrounds for cards or your projects with one die. And I'm going to be using the Tonic Studio Win Wings and Things Essential Die. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to show you what you can do just to create three backgrounds or three cards with this. It's so cool. I'm also going to be using the um, Embellishment Mousse and the Tattered Angels Be Mine Glimmer Mist. So the first thing I need to do, and I'm sorry about the glare right now, I actually am going to need the, this map for when I missed on, so that's why I have it down. So the first thing I need to do is cut my die, and I'm only gonna cut one, and I'm gonna create three, two different backgrounds, and then, of course, the die itself. I'm using my trusty old cuddle bug that I have had for over a decade. So you need your A plate, your C plate, and your B plate. I cut this down to a four by six and it just barely fits. Looking back now, I probably should have done a four and a half, you know, by six and a half, but oh well. And then I'm just gonna run it on through. And there she is, isn't she lovely? I'm gonna transfer this over to um, this sponge type mat so we can get all those ink, those little um, intricate details out of it. This is also by Sizzix. Actually, this is by Sizzix. All right, so there's my beautiful die. And now from here, I'm going to do the first background. I'm gonna be using some embellishment mousse, just a spatula. And I'm just going to be placing this on this card base. I'm gonna use a little dot of adhesive, but I don't wanna do so much that I can't pull it up because I have to move this around at least one more time, or really two. So I need to take into consideration, you know, I wanna put a body and a head there, so that's where that's gonna go. And now I'm just gonna use this as a stencil. So I'm gonna take this gorgeous mousse, look how beautiful that is. This can also, be bought in the Tonic Studio store, and I'm just going to cover this. And now I'm just going to lift my wings. Voila. So that's ready for a beautiful background. We're gonna let that dry and it has some texture and some dimension to it. So pretty. Okay, so for this step, I'm gonna take the same set of wings and we're gonna use it again as just that stencil, but this time I'm going to mist over it. So I want to get my placement just right. And it's okay if some of the embellishment mousse 
leaks through or, you know, leaves a residue on this. I don't care. It's kind of the look that I'm going for, but I'm just going to make sure that I have it nice and flat. All right. And now I'm going to take my Glimmer Mist, and this is Be Mine. <clears throat> shake it up really well. I'm shaking mine very rough and vigorously because I have mixing balls in my Glimmer Mist. If you want to keep your Glimmer Mist from clumping, all you have to do is add two mixing balls and that'll do it for you. And then I'm just going to go over it like so. <coughs> That's all I need. And then voila! There we go. Isn't that beautiful? And now this is ready for a masterpiece. So from one die, we got three different types of surfaces to work with. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, I am going to have listed for you the Tonic website in which you can purchase the embellishment mousse as well as the wings and things essentials die. And also, I will have listed for you the Canvas Core brand's Tattered Angels so you can find the Be Mine Glimmer Mist. Okay, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Until next time, happy crafting!